Hi everyone, welcome to another WordPress Wednesday. Stay tuned because I've got seven tips that are amazing and will hopefully revolutionize the way you see your WordPress website or blog. WordPress Wednesday. I am so excited to show you all the brand new setup that we got. We're so thankful to Rusty, who's actually my dad, one of the uh, founders of Webtegrity. He spent the last two days creating this set behind me, and we absolutely love it. want to say thank you, and thanks to you guys. Because really, if we hadn't been getting all the emails we've been getting, if we hadn't been getting the great response that we got to our very first WordPress Meetup Wednesday that we did uh, this past month in June, we wouldn't be doing this. We wouldn't be going to this much trouble. But oh my goodness, it's totally worth it. So thank you so much. And keep those comments coming in. And just as important as it is to have amazing, inspiring, beautiful things all around you as you're working, it's just as important to have amazing things and an amazing environment around you when you're working in your WordPress blog or website. So I want to pass along to you seven amazing tips that I basically use every single time we deploy, develop a website here at Webtegrity. These seven tips, hopefully, if you use every one of them, will radically change the way you see WordPress. So the very first tip I want to show you is how to be a little bit more organized whenever you're going back and forth between the dashboard area or your edit mode that looks like this and the front side of your website looking at what everybody else sees uh, how everybody else sees your website so the very first tip is we actually keep two browser windows open whenever we're working so that we can very easily and quickly go over here to the front side and take a look at the website so try to make that a best practices whenever you're editing your website You'll have two tabs open. You'll be able to come here to the front side, see what's going on, and as soon as you need to make an edit, instead of clicking on that top edit option, uh, you would just come here to this other tab, make your changes here, click publish or update, and of course that change would be made visible here once you click refresh. So that's definitely a very quick tip that will hopefully help you not get so disoriented whenever you're doing your edits. The second thing I want to share with you is also a way that you can clean up the WordPress dashboard. Uh, it's very frustrating to log in your dashboard and see things like this. Let's see. So you've got Welcome to WordPress, all this customized stuff. You've got the WordPress News and their blog options. All this activity and spam comments that you don't want anyway. Forms and at a glance you get to see this. So how, how can we possibly, and you might have other stuff on there actually, uh, but how can we possibly uh, trim this down a little bit. Up in the right hand corner you've got screen options. If we open up that little drawer we can actually unclick the things that we do not want to be here anymore. So I typically streamline my dashboard down to just the absolute necessity which is at a glance I'm gonna click on it and drag it over here and also I have a forms plugin and I like to see quickly how many times my form has been filled out or how many times um, you know somebody's viewed it so I get to do that here. Now every single time I log back into my dashboard it's going to be nice and clean like this with no more clutter. How great is that? There's also a way that you can clean up your pages and posts. If you go into one of them and you scroll down and you begin to see all this extra stuff that's just not needed, maybe revisions and custom fields, discussion, slug, author, all this stuff is kind of unnecessary. So one thing you can do is come up here to the screen options drawer and go ahead and uncheck some of the options that you think you just don't need to see all the time. That doesn't erase them, it just in a sense kind of hides them. So you can always get it back if need be. Um, you can always come back in and just open up that drawer again and replace what you need, but this way your page and posts are clean. Of course this also only applies per user. So if you can customize this just for you and the way you like to see your pages and your posts. Some people struggle to find out how to make a link open in a new browser window. So there's this little trick, um, I want to show you how to do it. So if you wanted to come in here, and let's say you wanted to link this spot right here over to his bio page. What we would do is click on the little link, uh, and this little box right here that says open link in a new window or tab, that's what you check. After you drop in that link, web, let's say there's our link, drop that in, now you'll see that it is, um, blue so that's linked and if we go behind the scenes we're gonna see that it actually dropped in a little bit of code here this is our full link this little bit of code that says target equals open quotes underscore blank 
That means to open up in a blank window or open up in another window. So that's the little trick on how to make that happen. Have you ever found yourself looking at your admin screen here where you're making edits and changes and you want to be able to maybe take this name and turn it red or purple for that matter make it a different color and there's just not the right options up here I want you to notice this very last icon sitting here in your um, toolbar area it says toggle or toolbar toggle if you click on that open it up you're gonna see all these extra fun options and here's your text color right here opens up and you can set it to whatever text color you might desire um, it also gives you the opportunity to change uh, certain items to an H1 tag so if you wanted something to be a header uh, title sitting here on the page you can easily grab that highlight it do a drop down option here and set it to header one and that'll make that text nice and big all sorts of really cool options here as you scroll over it'll give you it'll tell you exactly what uh, each option allows you to do and super super helpful resource so that little thing if you're running an older version of a WordPress it's gonna actually hover over and say show or hide the kitchen sink that's kind of a, a little bit of WordPress trivia there for you if you have a blog inside of your WordPress website you know the frustration it can be uh, to edit multiple multiple articles at one time so this little tip was something I learned the hard way um, but I love it and I want to pass along to you let's say you wanted to on your WordPress blog come into all your po posts you're gonna check on this top box up here that then lights up all of these on one page it's just gonna be the first 20 if you have more than 20 items there's gonna be pagination over here on the right side so it only unfortunately it only affects 20 items at a time but that's still a lot faster than one at a time you can come up here to bulk actions you can click on edit and then click apply what that's going to allow you to do is very quickly and easily go through here and make adjustments in a bulk type manner. So in other words, if I wanted to disallow comments on all of my articles, I could do that by clicking update and immediately it would go through all of these 20 on this page and take off all the capability, disallow the capability of commenting. If I wanted to assign them maybe to a different author I can again check that box click edit apply and I could choose whatever author I wanted if I had multiple authors I can choose that and assign these certain uh, articles all to one particular author so it's very quickly and easily um, uh, making these things accessible to you you can check here check different categories add tags if you wanted to make them sticky pings allowed or disallow all these different options very quickly and easily right here on one screen super handy and you can use this same method over on your pages as well it functions the exact same way just check the box click edit apply and it'll allow you to make th make uh, adjustments here you can change your page templates again comments if you have that enabled inside of your theme uh, all sorts of changes here if there's maybe one page that you selected that you didn't want to be a part of you can just go ahead and click on that X and that'll remove it quickly from this list the last really quick tip that I want to share with you is all about permalinks which if you're not overly familiar with WordPress if you're a total beginner this might be a little bit intimidating but let me walk you through it because it's super super important for search engine optimization out of the box by default WordPress actually makes your URLs or the links to your pages look something like this they have your root domain name right in them and then a forward slash and they put something a little funky behind it here that really makes zero sense not only to the end user but also to, to uh, search engines it, it doesn't help you in any way shape or form so thankfully they have a solution and that is called permalinks all right, so what we do is we go into the dashboard area. We're going to scroll down to settings and go into permalinks right here. Clicking on that takes you into all sorts of options here. See, this is the default. See how weird it looks? That's just funky. Um, you can have all sorts of things. If you're doing a blog and you really want to organize things by day and name, you can do that here. These are some of the default options that they have. I typically do a custom structure that inc includes my category and then my post name um, but you can do all sorts of different things and, and I would suggest you only setting this at the very very beginning though of starting your website if you do this retrospectively uh, you can certainly mess up and have a lot of broken links on your website so you want to do this out of the gate 
when you first launch your website, you want to come in, or when you first start to build your website, rather, come in here and set this to a custom structure. Inside this blog article, I do have the link right here that you can go to to see all the different options for using permalinks and what the different um, types are that you can set behind that path. I hope those seven tips are really going to help you to completely revolutionize the way you're using your WordPress website or blog. And if you have maybe a tip or a suggestion that you'd like to add to this list, please take a moment, put it down in the comment box for everybody else to see. I know they're going to appreciate it. I do, absolutely. Or maybe there's a topic that you'd like to hear us answer on WordPress Wednesdays. Please take a moment to go over to WPWED.com. I'll list the link right here for you and comment for us there. Or ask a question. We've got a, pop, uh, we've got a little link up at the top where you can ask a question to us. We would love to answer your questions here on WordPress Wednesday. Be sure to check out a local WordPress meetup group. Ours in San Antonio meets almost weekly. We would love to see you at one of those. Have a great day, y'all. Bye-bye. or suggestion or tips that you would like to add to this list, please comment down below and, and, and put the comments in our comment box or scoot over to Web Integrity's uh, website for WP. This is wrong. This is a really cool armadillo that one of our um, amazing artists here that works at Web Integrity created for us. It's handmade out of uh, porcelain clay and, and very, very cool. So we give a shout out to Sasha for creating this little guy for us. And this is also a piece of her art, so way to go. Hope you guys uh, like the new set. Give us some suggestions or send us some swag and we'll throw it up here and advertise for you.